Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky winter wheat field where a model year 2021 John Deere HD40R draper head is at work harvesting the crop. This all new hinge draper from John Deere is available in widths of 35, 40, 45, and 50 feet. This video will feature the 40 foot model and I'll talk about its specifications and capabilities as well as climbing up in the combine to visit with the farmer to talk about the features that he likes on the new HD40R. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see this new hinge draper in action. John Deere's all-new line of HDR rigid cutter bar drapers offer up to 20.3 inches of wing range to improve ground following and rolling terrain and terraces, while minimizing the crop left behind in the field. We'll see this in action when I climb up in the cab of the combine to visit with the farmer. The HDR series of headers are compatible with John Deere's S-series, X-series, and T-Series combines. This video will focus on a model year 2020 Class 8 473 horsepower John Deere S780 combine equipped with Trax working with a new HD40R hinge draper harvesting the winter wheat crop. This new draper head is built to minimize grain loss by up to 25% with the new grain saver draper belts it's equipped with. Plus, farmers can feed bushy crops smoothly and evenly into the center feed section of the header with the finger top cross auger this machine is fitted with. The full width 18 inch top cross auger really does a great job and feeding in small grain crops. You'll be able to see it working here in this winter wheat crop, both outside in the field and up in the cab. It really does an outstanding job when it gets into heavy crops like canola and moving the bushy materials from the outside of the draper to the center and into the feeder house of the combine. The HD40R and other HDR headers allow for making adjustments very easy. You can adjust float pressures in less than six seconds and convert from off to on the ground cutting in less than 10 seconds. This hinge draper has 20.3 inches of wing range to follow the terrain of the field. Mounted on the back of the header are gauge wheels that help adjust to the slope of the field and you can see as the combine's cutting the wheat, the header is just slightly flexing up and down following the roll of the field, making sure that all the wheat is ending up in the header and the grain in the combine's bin.
we've had a chance to look at the detail points of this all new draper head and see the functionality of the hinge draper at work out in the field, I'm going to climb up in the cab of this model year 2020 Class 8 Combine to visit with the farmer to talk about the header's functionality and the operation of the big combine. cab of the John Deere S780 with the new John Deere HD40R draper head. And the combine is opening up a new section of the field. We can see that this header has quite a bit of flex in it and we'll take a look at it as it goes across some different terrain. One of the big updates that you might notice are these cross augers on a traditional platform head that auger used to be down near the tray and the sickles, now it's mounted on top of the draper belt to help the flow of the crop. Another new addition are these wheels that are actually mounted on the frame. You can see an extra one mounted on on the outside which will definitely help uh, carry the header across the field. We can see again how the header is following the terrain and it flexes. Now, Brian, is there any adjustments that you can make on this header from the cab when you're operating, or is it all pretty much a natural float? It, you can make adjustment to make it cut higher or lower. Uh, it all runs off these wheels running behind the headers. Uh, you can adjust the uh, height of the cut. Those wheels fall the contour of the ground and raise them over. Now the combine also has some cameras in it where you can see what's happening. We can see the grain actually going through your monitor right here. It looks pretty clean. Now, are you able to look at other parts of the, the combine as well with a camera? This combine has a, uh, a backup camera where you can look in the back, I mean, see what's behind you. And it's also got the grain tank auger uh, camera where you can see in down in the truck. As far as the, uh, the over here, you can see the uh, grain and then tailings elevator, which is showing how much chaff is in the wheat. And of course, it's got both, where you can see both the uh, clean grain elevator as well as the tailings, okay. tailings elevator and but the way it's set up right now this combine this little round circle right here it's going around this blue circle is constantly adjusting adjusting for better quality better grain handling separation and whatever it's it's the numbers right here like the concave spacing nine is kind of adjust it's probably in the process of adjusting the concave spacing as well as the top Chaffer, Schaefer screen and the, and the bottom screen sieves. It's adjusting those and the black numbers I think it's leaving alone which is a rotor speed and the fan speed. Okay. But the, when it's in blue it's kind of a calibrating where it needs to be and adjusting them. So we can see the material running through the camera and then when I turn around the uh, can actually see where it's coming out here at the bin behind you. As the combine backs up, we can see the rear backup camera. It comes on as the combine moves in reverse. 
then drops off once the machine starts to move forward. It's definitely helpful, as you can see, we're running along a tree line here, and it's always good to know what's behind you. The combine is equipped with rear view mirrors, but it's a long machine, so it's always good to get an even closer up view of what's directly behind it. Here we can see the flex. You can see the wheel over there flexing and the auger moving down, following the terrain. Combine's going to unload on the go. You see the 8370R come up with a Kinsey 1100 cart. So we can see the grain coming out here at 3.8 bushels per second from a 28 and a half foot unloading auger. The operator also has a good view through a camera here in the cab. And it's pour you can see that grain just pouring out there. So we look right down in the cart. We'll see the last of the grain come out. And then as the auger is finished, you can see it comes off the camera and swings back into position. And then if we look back to the window, we can see the 400 bushel bin is empty and beginning to refill. So we can see as it goes back into the pass, so it's hands-free, and it's going to make a perfect 40-foot pass across the field. And again, that camera screen. Yeah, I'm up here. The, for the, trucks. the camera screen also shows everything that's happening. We can see the the bushels and the field average and also the guidance line here on this screen and the operator also has touch view command of the combine and screen down here to look at the operations of the combine. wagon.
I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in this Western Kentucky winter wheat field with this all-new John Deere HD40R Draper Head. It will be exciting to see the harvesting upgrades that are coming for 2021 from John Deere. And I'd like to hear if you use a draper head in your harvesting operation. What type of header are you running? What brand? What size? And what type of combine do you use to operate it? Let me know about it in the comments section below this video. And if you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.